In this video, we are going to be setting up our Blueprint Colobo function that will pretty much create our and set up our host beacon for us. So to do this, we're going to go ahead and create a Blueprint Colobo function and begin setting it up. So inside of the game mode header, I'm going to create a protected section. And this is going to be a U function. That type is going to be Blueprint Callable. Now, for now, I'm just going to make this return a bool. And let's call this one create host beacon. And create the definition for it. Okay. So here we now have our function. And currently does nothing. But I'm going to go ahead and compile real quick. And then launch the editor again just so it comes up. Since hot reload is completely failing for me. and show you how we can set it up to be called. Any day. All right, let's finish compiling. Let's go ahead and launch the editor. All right, I wanna to go to maps. Main menu, open our main menu widget, and click cooperative on our host game button. I'm going to view the, uh, our event for that, which is all in here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually select everything that we have created and move it over and disconnect it. So I click host game. I want to call a function that checks our beacon. And if it's, you know, good to go, we continue and run everything else. So I'm going to create a new function. Call this one create host beacon, I, I guess. Just leave the name the same. Add an output. It's going to be a Boolean. And just name it success. So from here, we're going to go ahead and get our game mode. We're going to cast it to our Nazi zombie main menu game mode. And we're going to do create host beacon, just like so. And return it. File, save. Now we're simply going to call create host beacon. And do a branch. Uh, I recall someone said, just connect it to true. I recall someone saying you could use the function calls as if statements, like for a branch, but I can't quite remember. Uh, I'd have to look that back up again. But if we create the host beacon successfully, then we will continue with the change. Currently returns false, so this should fail, which it does. Right, so now we press it. We need to spawn a online beacon host. This is not our custom classes. This is just the default class because we need to do something to it. So we go to the a online beacon host page in the documentation. We see the include here. I'm going to go ahead and include it and try to spawn it. So what we're going to do is do if a online beacon host. Just gonna call it host equals get world, and I'm having zero health from IntelliSense right now. Spawn actor type is gonna be a online beacon host. And we're gonna do a online beacon host static class, like so. So if that's out, good to go. We need to do if host init host, then we continue. So our next step is there's this function called Paul's Beacon Requests. And by default, it's set to true as far as I know. And for some, I really don't know why, but we need to set it to false. So that will allow us to take in 
request. So if someone wants to ping us, someone wants to try to join us, it's allowed. So what we're gonna do is do host, pause, beacon request. We're simply gonna pass in false because we don't want it to be paused. And now we need to spawn our custom class for the host. So we're gonna do include. I'm just gonna copy this whole path. So main menu, then we're gonna do Nazi, zombie, beacon, host, object.h. Here we're going to do if a Nazi zombie beacon host object host object equals same thing. We're just going to spawn the actor and just change our the class that we're spawning. If that's good to go and valid, we're going to do host register host, and what we're going to register is our host object so you can see in the parameter here it takes an a online beacon host object and this is our or our custom class is derived from that i'm going to make a slight change here because i want this our host object to actually be accessible from more than just well this function so i'm going to set it up in our header so for our variables, actually we're not really going to have hardly any, so I'm just going to leave it in here. So we're going to do a Nazi zombie beacon host object, host object. And I'm going to forward declare it like so. And just set it as a null pointer in the constructor by default. and change up how this is done. So we cannot, well, as you'll see here in a second, if IntelliSense decides to pick it up, we should not be able to, okay, why are you working? You shouldn't be able to do that in the if statement. Because you've already been declared. Unless this is a new C++ thing, or IntelliSense just flat out is not picking it up at all. That'd be kind of handy. Yeah, that's what I figured. So what we need to do is move it up above the if statement, and then simply check if host object. So if it's valid, just like that. So I'm going to compile again. And we should be good to go, which we are. So from here, I'm just going to simply return true. And if all that fails, we're going to return false. So I'm going to do our final compile for this video and test it and make sure it succeeds. Once it actually does compile. Not sure if I have to restart the editor or not. Yeah, it's failing, so I'm gonna go ahead and give the editor a restart. Just do a compile while it's closed. All right, now let's test it. Okay. It still seems like we're failing. So, if create host beast in it successful just pass that in just triple check yeah so something's failing somewhere speaking let's print out some logs spawned host object Spawned and yeah, just spawned that. Oh, maybe you up actually. And init host. And see if which, well, where it fails.
and if it fails again, I know why, and we will begin to fix that in the next video. Not sure exactly what's failing. And no logs are being printed, so I'm going to restart the editor. Again, this is going to be annoying. Might end up switching back to the launcher version just for uh, the sake of this tutorial, just so I can ignore that. So it's not spawning the beacon at all. So I think I know why that is the case, and I will go about fixing it in the next video. So I will see you then.